Hello, welcome to the Kidney Kitchen. Today we're doing a very simple whole wheat spaghetti dish with some lovely vegetables, a few herbs, a bit of spinach and a bit of chilli and garlic. I've got a pan on already to cook me a spaghetti. I always use whole wheat spaghetti. It's much better for you. There's a lot of fibre in this. Um, I'm not a big spaghetti fan myself, but I always use the whole wheat stuff if I'm um, making something at home, whether it's spaghetti or uh, any other type of pasta. Great, let's get cooking. So my first job is to cook my spaghetti because it's going to take about 12-14 uh, minutes. Big pan of boiling water. Just a lug of olive oil just to separate the spaghetti when you put it in the water. So there we go. Plenty of boiling water. So about 12-14 minutes on your, on your spaghetti. Meanwhile, just take a medium sized frying pan on a heat and a little, again a little lug of olive oil. And there's my sliced garlic and red chilli. I've sliced and deseeded my red chilli there. You can leave the seeds in if you uh, like it a bit hotter. Or you could alternatively just use another chilli as well if you really wanted a bit, a bit of punch. And that will really flavour the olive oil, the, the garlic and the chilli. You can smell it now or nutty sort of flavour when the garlic starts just to burn a little bit. And into that we've got some small red onion. Again while you're frying all your, all your bits off, keep an eye on your spaghetti, keep it moving around. You don't want it sticking together at all. Next goes my pepper. Just deseed, you cut it in half, deseed in my pepper, and cut it into slices. And then last of all, we've got some sliced courgette. Again, I've just cut that in half and uh, cut it into strips, or um, as our chefs call it, julienne. Just making sure they're coated in all that lovely olive oil and garlic and chilli. So you're looking at about maybe five or seven minutes with all your vegetables and hopefully by that time your spaghetti will be cooked and we'll mix the two together. Smelling good. As you can see the vegetables are starting to wilt down, cook a little bit after about five minutes and into that we're going to put a bit of white wine. And that white wine will get, will get into the into the vegetables. Most of it will evaporate, but you're creating a little bit of a sauce with the olive oil. And by the time your pasta goes in as well, that will combine the two together. So that's 14 minutes on my pasta. And that's cooked. You know they, they say the expression al dente, so it's got a little tiny bite to it, but not too hard, just a little tiny bit. That's when you know it's ready. Or you can do, chuck it against the wall and make it see if it sticks, that's the usual uh, trick, but I wouldn't advise that. So there you go, 14 minutes, pasta's done. Just got to drain it now. Great, and the last ingredient to our little vegetable sauté is some spinach. It's lovely picked baby spinach. And just let that wilt, wilt down in your white wine. Again, coating it in all the lovely olive oil and wine from the from your pan. Some great colours, I think. That looks great. So there you go. Your vegetables are nice and cooked. A little bit al dente, same as your pasta. In the two go. So you can see how quick and easy that dish was. It's called a quick and easy whole wheat pasta dish, it took you know 15-20 minutes from start to finish. So there you go. Simple, simple dish, but the best dishes often are. Last of all, just got a bit of basil, a bit of lovely fresh basil, a couple of nice leaves, a little pinch of uh, flat leaf parsley. Classic combination, basil and, and pasta. And 
can see that's coated in all those lovely flavours. And we'll just put a portion in, in there. Always easier in a bowl really to, to serve. Just make sure you get all your vegetables in there as well. A bit of spinach, a bit of your pepper and red onion. So no one, no one goes missing. Fantastic. Now this is a vegetarian friendly dish. Whole wheat pasta is vegetarian friendly. Um, I'm going to put a bit of Parmesan cheese on top now, which isn't vegetarian friendly, but there is other vegetarian cheeses that you can buy. So if you are cooking for a vegetarian in your family or friends, then uh, best to leave that one off. Just a little sprinkle on top. Just another little drizzle of olive oil. And a little bit of basil, just for garnish. There you go. Lovely, hearty bowl of whole wheat pasta with chilli and garlic and vegetables. I've got Angeline here with me today, a dietitian in the house to come and try some. Make sure it's okay. Hello Paul. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Good I'm to good. see you. This looks lovely, thank you. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, great, good. thank pasta you. pasta fan? I am, and I like the fact that it's whole wheat, more fibre. I heard that you like it too. So I do. Great, yeah. great for patients out there that um, yeah, need to increase their fibre. Fits in with the whole healthy eating guideline as well. Sure, as you saw how quick and easy it was to do today. I'm thinking so the people easy. that perhaps been at hospital or coming back from a dialysis session yep. and want to do something really quick and yep. in 15 to 20 minutes, I thought that You've was quite some, a good a one. You've got a perfect dish, yeah, a nice yeah. hearty dish. So a few things to mention about this sure. dish is um, it's low in potassium and it's low in phosphate and it's low in protein. So it ticks lots of boxes there. Great. So particularly for somebody that's pre-dialysis, low in protein is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's on dialysis, though, might want to up the protein. That could be slightly more cheese, or it could be adding some tinned tuna, or a, a lovely piece of cooked fish, um, or chicken, maybe, chicken breast, yeah. or you've mentioned vegetarian, so that could be some corn pieces, sure. some tofu or something. But getting some more protein in there would be important for, for somebody on dialysis. Sure. Could you have that as a side dish as well, Angeline? Perhaps if you did a chicken breast separately and did a little portion, tiny portion of that next to it? Yeah, a, a chicken breast or fish, um, uh, some sort of protein next to it would, would accompany that dish really yeah. nicely. Right. The only thing I would say is um, if you're going to add some protein to it, such as fish or chicken, then you would probably want to leave out the spinach. Now the reason for that is because spinach is very high in potassium. Now despite this being a low potassium dish, the minute you add fish or chicken, that yeah, will increase the potassium. Absolutely. Sure. So if you're going to add meat and fish, simply take out the spinach. I remember yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> Can I give it Have a try? Have a taste, totally, yeah. yeah. It's going to be you. fun eating spaghetti uh, delicately or <laughs> yeah, ladylike. Yeah, not the isn't easiest, it? <laughs> is it? I'm going to try and get a good scoop here. And, um, I'll put an extra splash of olive oil on as well after. Do you see, that was that okay? Just again, a tasting, I suppose, if you... Personal. Yeah, yeah personal completely thing. personal. Mm. Cool. So nice. Just easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Again, it can be pretty boring, can't it? It's just spaghetti on its own, but with those added The garlic, flames, the chilli, the, yeah. the cheese, the vegetables, and the herbs as well. You, you're, you're free to add a few, few more herbs. In, when we analysed the recipe, we added more herbs than you added in, in the filming of this, so um, that could also add to the flavour as well. Sure. As we've seen, we haven't added any salt at all once again no, to this no. recipe. Kids would like it as well, I thought, wouldn't you? Kids, I would friendly. have thought yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, they always love pasta. Yeah. So great for the whole family. Fantastic. Thank you for trying it. Thank you.